At the end of the day, when we don't feel like we are enough, even on a suppressed and unconscious level, like if you asked me like five or six years ago, do you think that you have enough confidence? I would say absolutely yes. But still, my actions didn't match with that reality because when someone would ask me something, I would literally bend myself, you know, <laughs> over to do it when in reality, that's not really the thing. So I believe self-worth, self-image, and also being able to be authentic, it takes some time. So for me, it takes, it took time and it's still taking time to fully, fully express itself in a healthy manner and reclaiming that power, like you said earlier, Amy, about we need to take our power back. I am not, uh, this because I am a people pleaser, because I have this tendency, does not make me this way. I can change the narrative. I can change and shift who I am and how I see myself and label myself with others. So yeah, big, a big, <laughs> a big journey ahead and <laughs> beautifully beautifully said well i will say i'm jealous because i wish i learned what you're learning when i was your age <laughs> you know it took me a long time and and like you i think you know some programs are hard to die so <laughs> you know i definitely fall back into those tendencies but uh, uh i i feel like uh you know if you can change it and start changing it before you get in too much pain then good for you some of us are more dense than others and i had to be a complete burnout midlife crisis like i had i really even didn't even want to live anymore my life got so i was just so just barren i just had nothing left to give and it's challenging for people who are in a service industry and the health industry and you know psychological spiritual mental emotional health it doesn't matter when you're giving hard as women we're known to give we're we're judged by giving we're judged by sacrifice i mean the nature of being a mom is you know others needs come first and we feel guilty i can't believe the tremendous amount of guilt people feel when they quote unquote self-indulge which is something like go to bed early take a nap go to a yoga class god forbid they self-indulge it's like my god we have to get rid of this mindset and you know everyone's heard it a million times you know you're on a plane you put the oxygen mask on yourself before the kid who's gonna do that right we all when you're a mom like you're you're a caretaker it's so tough to live it fatima you know it's so tough to live it but i guess my point is is hopefully like you you can be young enough or do or learn soon enough that you don't want to get in so much pain where you're just like i will do anything like i can't live like this anymore i have to start taking care of myself and make those boundaries and um otherwise that i just don't even like my life so that's what happened to me and i can tell that, you that's powerful like thank it you for is sure that. uh yeah. yeah but for anyone listening who struggles getting on the other side i can't even tell you how much better it is like i oh yeah <laughs> i mean i've lost i've lost wrinkles i've lost weight i mean i have gained so much of that peace that calm that inner stillness uh, that connection with your soul all that is waiting for you on the other side but you've got to have self-love self-care self-respect i love you mentioned that term it's it's key it's critical no more being a martyr you're just as important as everyone else and yes i'm all about giving but it's it's you're fighting the laws of nature which is giving and receiving that is one of the universal laws of nature giving Amen. and right otherwise you're swimming up current and uh so good for you and uh i'll be paddling with you <laughs>